Okay, hey guys, it's Nadia. I'm doing a texturizing video, finally. Um, ooh, sorry, I thought I was about to sneeze, but okay. Alright, so I haven't texturized my hair since like um, <clears throat> the beginning of September slash like the end of August. Because it was like the beginning of the school year. So yeah, it's been about like, sorry, it's been about like six months. Um six months six seven months i don't know but yeah so let me show you what i texturized my hair with and i've talked about it before this is the box it's the just for me texture softener and i got this from walmart it was only six dollars and like um some change um yeah okay so it comes with a bunch of different things this is the cream developer or whatever um i don't know if it's developer i'm making things up but it just comes with this cream this uh, activator that you pour into the cream, this sa sunflower oil, and a neutralizing shampoo, oh, and also this hair moisturizing complex. Okay, so I don't need to read the directions because I've done this plenty of times, and it's pretty easy to do. So that came all sealed up. I just peeled off the little thing, um, so that's a good thing. Then this is opened, and then it's just a cream. It's not very strong at all. Um, so yeah, and then you're supposed to pour in the Forest Green Liquid Acu Acu Activator. I don't know why I couldn't say that. But yeah, it's Forest Green. I guess so you can tell the difference. Because um, this says Neutralizing Shampoo. As you can see, it's in bold, um, bold and caps. Um, and this says Forest Green Liquid Applicator. And it says Forest Green, I'm, I'm guessing, so you, can, so you don't pour it in the... Um, neutralizing shampoo in there and on accident so anyway so you just pour it in there all of it and then you pour you're supposed to pour half of this just for me anti-break sunflower oil formula I usually do the whole thing well I mean I've done it where you only do half because you're only supposed to do half and it has a little line there where you're supposed to where the halfway mark is but um you're, okay, like I said, you're supposed to do half in there and half in the in your hair afterwards, just like as an oil. But I don't want to use this in my hair as just an oil um, because I like coconut oil and I have some other stuff for my hair. So I'm just going to add the whole thing. It'll give me some type of like hot oil treatment as well at the same time, okay? And it comes with this popsicle stick. Popsicle stick. Um, and I just mix it all up. I don't really, I can't show it, wow, I just spilled a little bit on me. I can't show it to you because it's liquid right now, and it's not mixed nicely. But you, also you want to, um, of course, not wear something that you don't want to get dirty. I just have on a robe. Because, um, I just like to wear nothing <laughs> under my robe, obviously. But, um... I like to wear nothing because I'm just going to go in the shower right after this and wash it out. So, I mean, like, if you, I suggest just doing it before you take a shower. That's just what I'm going to do. So, as you can see, it's getting mixed up. Still not mixed up all the way, but you just want to mix it up till it's nice and creamy. I was going to mix this up beforehand, but I uh, decided to show you guys the process. Okay, as you can tell, my hair is not, uh, oh. First of all, my hair is looking crazy, I know, because it rained today a lot. Well, not even a lot, just like medium, I would say. And then it was like wet for the whole day. Because like it rained and then stopped and then rained again and stopped. Okay, so I'm making sure to mix it up very nicely. So it's this creamy consist. excuse me, creamy consistency. Also, you do not want to save this. If you don't use it all, throw it away. You don't want to save this. They're chemicals. The, the reason why you have to mix them um, separately, the reason why they don't just mix it for you, is because it's just, they're chemicals. They're not supposed to be mixed for that long and held that long. Just like with, um, with a hair dye. Okay, so I have all that. I'm just gonna just get that off the popsicle stick. Okay, I 
they, they come with gloves, okay? This is the directions, by the way. There's gloves inside of here, but honestly, I don't use gloves. I know it's probably bad, but um, I don't I don't care. Um, also, see, this is three-day hair. It is not like a weak hair. Like, you know how um, people with, like, relaxed hair, they have to, like, um, not wash their hair or manipulate their hair for, like, about at least a week or two weeks so that their hair can get dirty and it won't burn your scalp well um, you don't really have to with this one because it's not as harsh and it, it doesn't burn my scalp at all and also I didn't put like petroleum jelly on my sides because like I said it doesn't irritate me but if you have sensitive skin then definitely do that you should also read the directions and um, I'm, li I'm just starting at the crown of my hair because that's where um, the most curliest part is. Okay, so I have about three and a half inches of new growth, three and a half to four a lot so I'm just putting that on the new growth with my hands you can definitely section it off if you don't feel comfortable doing it this way I just do it this way because my hair is not very different from the texture that it comes out to be so if I miss a couple places I don't really mind. My hair is sucking it up. Now I used to want to do it, I used to do it like every three months, but um, I stretched it. I'll probably do it like every four months now. I stretched it only because I was going to go natural, but I decided not to only because I found a picture of like my natural hair and I didn't really want that type of hair. Okay, background information. I am a 3C hair type, but I like to relax my hair to a 3B stage. Okay. And this this is a kind of weird thing also formula because on the box it says it lasts up to 12 weeks which is doesn't make sense because like it's a chemical obviously it's a chemical and chemical alters your hair for permanently so I'm not sure why it says 12 weeks now I should warn you um, when you wash it out, it's going to look a little bit straight or wavy, but um, don't worry, in about like three days or so, um, or less, more or less, it will, go, it will go back to the state you want it to be. I'm not sure why it does that, but it does. And right now I'm just applying it. I know it's taking a long time, but yeah. And you just, it says you want to kind of pull it. It says comb it, but I just pull it. I don't want to comb it. And just pull it where the relaxer is to just kind of straighten it out a little bit. So you just pull it a little bit. Um, there's this little thing right there. I'll talk about that after. Just forget I even said that. So I keep it in, after I apply it, it takes me like, I don't know, like four minutes to apply it? I don't know. You guys can check with the video, but um, after I apply it, I like to leave it on for like three minutes. I don't like to leave it on for a long time. Okay, I think it's all in there. All, it's nicely in there. Okay, so
So all you want to do is leave it in for however long you want it to leave it in. And then you want to wash it out with your, actually, look how much I have left. I have a whole lot left too. So I know when I first did it on my whole head of hair, um, I did like, I did a whole texturizer. I left it on, no, I used like, I think three tubs of this, three boxes. So yeah, um, I used like half of it for my new girl. And this was three and a half inches to four inches, so. Yeah. Okay, so anyways, leave it on for however long you want. Wash it out with the neutralizing shampoo that it gives you. And then go on to your business. <coughs> Bless me. Okay, I'm just making sure everything's in there. You also could have put like an oil or some type of something to protect your ends, but I don't care. I care about my ends, I just don't really care right now. But anyways, I'll come back when I wash it out. Okay, hey guys, I'm back. Um, I washed it out of my hair, and um, I'll show you how much of the shampoo I used. Wow, this is a bad example. But like to there, probably a little bit less because I actually dropped this in the shower. And it spilled a little bit. I just washed it like three times and I forgot to mention that that also has like a, um, the color uh, thing that tells you like if there's still stuff in your hair. Um, if it's pink, if the little suds are pink, then that means there's still relaxer in your hair. If the suds are um, uh, white and just normal, then that means it's all gone. So you just do it according to that. Now I'm going to... Um, deep condition my hair actually okay yeah so let me tell you what I'm deep conditioning with first of all I'm deep conditioning with uh, two things and I'm going to be doing a protein treatment with one thing overnight okay so I'm using this triple moisture Neutrogena Jeep deep recovery mask a lot of it and but it's also mixed in with a different deep conditioner that I have and you guys have seen me use both of these things I don't like them that much so I'm trying to use them up but anyways I'm using Garnier Fruit Tea's 3 minute undo as well it's like half and half that I just mixed in there okay and then right on top of that, I'm going to add Affigy's Keratin 2-Minute Reconstructor, which is this. Uh, FTC, I didn't uh, receive any of these items for free. It's not really a review, so I can't really say I'm not being paid to do this review because it's not a review. But I have like that much in my hand. Probably should have put this one on first because it's protein and I want the protein to get on my shaft but uh, whatever I'm also gonna do uh, an effigy two-step protein treatment soon as well people say to do it like before you do it the um whatever relaxer color treatment whatever you're gonna do to your hair people say that to do it first but um, I just like to do it after. I mean, I've never done it. I've done it one time, but I didn't do any type of chemical processing to my hair, like, right after or before it. I just did it, like, a lot of months after I did, like, the last chemical process, if that makes any sense at all. Okay. Alright, so that's all in there. It's nice and saturated, if you can hear and see that. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to leave it in overnight, and then that's the end of my process. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed, and um, wow, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.